All right, today we're gonna learn how to paint this tornado. So the question of the day is, who is Thomas Mann? All right, today we're gonna to do a painting of a tornado. We laid in the really rough cloud cover here. Um, we got kind of the swirl of the tornado. It's better than my other tornadoes where I got the round and doesn't feel round. Um, we got this kind of funneling into the tornado. I probably have to work at that end. It's a little bit rough. Um, we have this really nice light gray sky. Um, and we'll see where we tighten it up here. We got this light brown. I think it's a little bit off. We have to add a little more variation in there to kind of make it feel more like grass. And then probably a little bit darker to light on the road. It was brown, but I made it um, pavement. I think it was a better contrast to the road. Pulls this colors in. And yeah, we'll see where it goes in the next layer. So Thomas Mann was a famous um, romantic painter. Also his brother was too, but not as famous, Edward. Um, Thomas became more, or Moran was his name. So Moran became more famous, Thomas did, because he went on the 1871 expedition out to Yellowstone and there was photographers. He was one of the key painters and they put this book together. And when it got to the public, it really galvanized the public to get behind the movement of making this a national park. And so the foundation of Yellowstone really resides on this particular painter, Thomas Moran. Uh, later, he did some White House paintings as well, but the Yellowstone painting was kind of the, one of the key cornerstones of his movement and obviously the most collectible part probably from my view. And that's my question of the day. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So this really nice swirling um, circular motion. I think that's pretty correct. Um, and it boils down into the tornado. I'm not sure if it blends at the very end correctly. Um, I added like kind of like a dark horizon. Um, that kind of separates the green to the blue. It's not necessary, but it kind of makes it pop a little more. Um, added the little white line, a little bit of mistake there, but I'm just going to leave it. Um, a little bit of uh, brown and green to kind of add some more leading lines. I don't know if it's necessary, but it kind of adds more drama to the photos. It kind of pulls in. It's the calm area, but then there's a little bit of leading lines. You have all this nice circular motion, so that kind of follows the golden ratio in a way because the golden ratio is a circle, so that's gonna have a really nice impact in the painting. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy. I think I'm getting a lot better at these tornadoes. The more I paint them, the more they look better. Um, and I've noticed not many people paint them, so I think it's a really good area to paint, uh, per se, because there's just not that much um, art out there of tornadoes. So hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to see the whole video, I have that on my Patreon account. And if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching, guys.